do not lie on your personal statement. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Uwa and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a 2020 medicine offer holder. I actually got two offers this year and I've set up an Instagram page, a website and this YouTube channel to help aspiring medics. So with time, I also want to do some non-medicine related videos. Um, so yeah, just stick with me, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. I low-key hate this top because it's a bit big. Yeah. Two days ago I posted my first video on YouTube and the response to that was absolutely amazing. Like in the first 33 minutes it reached 113 views. I don't know how many it's got right now but I checked this morning and it was about 360 and I've already got about 50 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. As always it means so much. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, it's iwaisabar.com underscore um, so you don't miss any of my posts. I post literally every single day. Currently, I've just posted my giveaway. I'm going to be giving away um, a free copy of the 125 ICS Medical. I say, I always say it wrong. The ISC Medical UCAP Practice Question Books. Without further ado, I'm lying. If you're sitting in the UCAP this year, in 2020, or in any year in the future, I've digitized, digitalized. I've made all my notes into an ebook that's available on my website. So be sure to check that out and grab yourself a copy. My videos would be so much shorter if I didn't ramble as much as I do. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. How to write. I'm not sure what I'm going to title yet. Um, I'll take the ICS medical title for now. How to write the perfect personal statement. With your personal statement, there are some unis which don't even consider it at all and there are some unis which base who are going to invite to interview on the personal statement. And because you make one application to five different unis, I say just write the best personal statement that you possibly can. I need to try and start smiling but it's so hard. I recommend starting your personal statement as early as you can from the summer before year 13 because you submit your application in October unless they do change it this year you submit it October 15th so after summer you don't want to spend those six weeks or so trying to write your personal statement as well as um, settling down into year 13. So the first section technically the first paragraph is going to be why you want to do medicine I'd say for this part avoid cliches you want to make your personal statement stand out admission tutors are going to look through millions probably not millions but they're going to look through a lot thousands of personal statements and if you start yours with i wanted to be a doctor since i was a child they're not going to remember that it's not going to be eye catching it's not going to be different obviously tell the truth but you want something that is really going to set you apart from everybody else. So there are many ways you can do this. I use a personal experience, which was one of the reasons that inspired me to um, pursue career in medicine. Another reason why I used experience was because I knew this was something that I could talk about confidently if I got asked in an interview. You want to make your personal statement interview proof. Do not lie on your personal statement. If they were to ask you about something, you're going to be able to explain it in detail. Don't fabricate anything don't over exaggerate something it's a personal statement make it personal to you tell a life experience if you got one like i did if you've not got one that's like directly involved in the hospital you can always talk about a time where you helped maybe a family member so if you were caring for somebody like did anyone in your family have a newborn baby you looked after it or recently during this pandemic have you helped an older person with their shopping for example anything like that that you could think of draft that down for now and bear that in mind for the opening of your personal statement again these are just my personal tips this is not the official how to write a personal statement guide it's just what i recommend if you don't have a personal experience you can just talk about your love for medicine and your love for the discipline and where that started from just whatever you think of over the next few weeks few days jot it down and yeah, bear that in mind to start a personal statement. Remember to keep it brief. This is just an introduction. You've got a limit of 4,000 characters, which is just about a side of A4. Section 2 should be about your interest in 
medicine. This is time to show off your enthusiasm and your passion for the discipline. So in this part you're really going to talk about what you've learned from your work experiences. Granted a lot of you may not have a lot of work experience because of the current situation but on my Instagram I've done a post about virtual work experiences so be sure to check that out and also save that post and refer back to it when you need it. So in this part you aren't expected to know everything about medicine otherwise you wouldn't need to go to med school. The admission tutors just really want to see that you've got a genuine interest in medicine. It's a really demanding course and they just want to make sure that you've done your research. You've got an idea of what you're getting into and you've got somewhat a realistic view of what to expect. So in this part you want to talk about your work experience, volunteering, academic challenges, any books you've read or any conferences that you have attended. Again if you're struggling for anything to bulk up the section check out my Instagram page. I've also done a post on books you can read as an aspiring medic. In this part don't just list your work experience. You want to talk about what you've learned. Personally, I did some really exciting work experiences, but the admission choosers couldn't care less which surges I shadowed or anything like that. They just want to know what I've learned. They want to know that I went there to know more about life as a doctor and what to expect in a career in medicine. So in this section you also want to blow away the admission choosers and use wow words. So these are any words that will describe a doctor. So you want to include here the traits of a doctor things you have learned in your work experience. These are things such as teamwork, compassion, empathy, honesty, integrity, passion, professionalism, understanding and sympathy. Those are just some examples. There are loads more that you can Google and then you can look out for whilst your work experiences. But just make sure that you include these in your personal statement and you've got an understanding of what it means to be a doctor. Don't just throw in those wow words. For example, don't be like, I went on work experience and empathy. That's not how it works. You've got to be able to say why these skills are important and say how you intend to apply this to your future career and your future studies. Because before you become a doctor, you're gonna have to study for at least five years in med school. The structure within this section is really important. This is gonna be your meatiest part of your personal statement. Don't just randomly throw in all your ideas. Try and see if you can make them link in a certain way. So for example, did you observe some work experience which inspired you to read a book? And from reading that book, because of that work experience, you then went and took part in some academic challenge. Just be sure you are linking your ideas so that they make sense. Although you want to show off what you've learned and what you know, you also want to come across as a well-educated person. The third section of your personal statement should be about what I'd say makes you a person. What do you do outside of revision and outside of college work? So this can include part-time job, volunteering, any extracurricular activities which you take part in and also how you relax and unwind. Provide details of the stuff you've learned in any of the activities you mention. So don't just say I volunteered at a hospice and it was fun. Say from volunteering at hospice I got to understand the importance of patient care at a community level. I'm not sure if that made sense but that was just at the top of my head. Also with these activities you include, use examples that demonstrate that you've got commitment, that you can stick to something for a long period of time regardless of any challenges or setbacks that you may face. This is important because med school is hard and it's challenging. I've not been yet but from what I've heard it's difficult. So mission tutors want to know that you have determination, you can overcome obstacles, you can start something and you are committed enough to stick with it until the very end regardless of anything that comes in your way. A really important part of this section is how you relax and unwind. Med schools want to know that you're a well-rounded person. They don't want to just have students who are machines and just constantly work. They want to see you can step away from a heavy workload and you can relax, you can socialise. They want to see that you can do something outside of revision and constant study. And now your final sentence or two is just going to be about you summing up your passion to study medicine. You want to show here that you are absolutely certain that you want a career in medicine and this is something that you thought through thoroughly. This part isn't absolutely essential but if you've got a few more characters left I don't see why not but it's only got to be a sense or two and just show that you are determined to pursue your dreams of becoming a doctor. So just some final points to consider with this is I'd say limit how many people you show your personal statement to. Of course it's good to get feedback and people tell you what you can improve on but I'd say limit it to four or five people at the most because you don't want so many different opinions. Everyone's personal statement should be 
100% original. UCAS use a system called Copycatch, this is for all personal statements and there should be no similarity detected in your personal statement at all, it should not be plagiarised. And that's all I have to say in terms of writing your personal statement. Thank you once again for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like I said last time, I have so much planned for it. Thank you so much for your support. Follow me on Instagram at iwhatisabore.com underscore and look out for this giveaway. Again, if you're sitting in the UCAT this year, check out my ebook on my website. It's filled with tons of tips and strategies to help support your UCAT practices. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.